Hi everyone, it's Vosh and I am here with a full head of hair about to do something exciting and novel and fun for me and that is shave my head. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> That's a really good question. Uh, I was inspired for a number of reasons. One, a friend of mine shaved her head about, I guess, four years ago and I thought she was nuts. And now I'm in quarantine, so I said, why not? The second reason is to be perfectly honest. I have watched all of these protesters carrying signs like, I need a haircut. And I was like, pansies, I'm gonna shave my head. And then I figured I would. So this is me with a full head of hair. I think it's actually really cute today, but it's about to be shaved. So I will uh, pause this recording and go about the shaving and we're going to see. Um, it could end up with a buzz cut. It could end up completely bald. <laughs> Let's find out. Here I am again, and I still have hair. That's because I had watched this video, and it was talking about how you should actually put your hair up in a ponytail and cut it this way. So let's see if I can make myself do this without cutting off my own scalp. <sighs> this is very strange. <laughs> but... Okay, I think I'm good. I'm not gonna cut, put myself in the hospital. Good, good, good. Okay, I am recording this. And then, wow, this is really weird. <laughs> my heart is pounding because I have never actually cut my own hair before. <laughs> but you know what? I am a tough woman with ovaries like a boss. So here I am. Cut, 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 cut. You only live once. I mean, unless you believe in reincarnation, but then you don't really remember your past lives anyway, so does it matter? This is really taking a long ass time. Whoa! Okay, and I'm not done yet because I missed some. Ah! There's apparently another whole set back here, so we're gonna we're gonna witness this again. Woo! Omg! Okay, good. Still haven't cut myself. Good, good, good. Whoa! This is weird. Whoa! This is weird. Okay, so I have cut this part, and now I have this, which actually still isn't awful. <laughs> now we're gonna go for the gold, and the gold is cutting off the rest of it. Whoa, I am shorn. So the next time you see me, I will be even more shorn. Let's make it happen. Okay, so I thought of this some more. <laughs> I'm, you can tell I'm not a professional. And I thought, and I was like, would it make more sense for me to try these special clipper glades on here and see if they work? And the answer is maybe? I don't know. So anyway, here's me with this, and I'm not even, aha! And I'm not sure which one this is, so we're just gonna try this, and then if I don't like it, I'm probably just gonna go to the bathroom like I'd originally intended and do it that way. But let's see. So at least you can get the experience of the, or I can have the experience of the actual buzz cutting. Okay. Wow, that was weird. Okay. So that's what happens when you use this clipper is you get this effect. And I definitely think I'm going to take this to the bathroom because I don't really like it that much doing it here in my, on my computer chair. So let's see. I'm going to take this off. Yes, okay, that came off easily. There's lots of different ones of these, but not all of these fit this wide one. Aha, this one looks like it's a little closer. So let's try that. How long has this gone on anyway? I don't know. I don't really want this to be the longest video known to heaven and earth. So I'm gonna do this one so you can at least see a little bit more of how the buzzing works. And then I'm gonna go take this somewhere else so I don't have hair all over my computer chair. So here we go. That is something else. Check that out. Wow. That one's kind of fun. So you can kind of see, whoa, look at that. All right, I'm gonna do one more. Now you're supposed to go with the grain of your hair. Be aware, this could have been a really bad decision. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making a good or a bad decision, but sometimes that's just life. You don't know what kind of decision you're making until you make it. Woo. Oh, that's neat. Oh, my head feels really weird. Okay, so on that note, I am going to uh, go shave this up and then I'm gonna come back and hopefully 
We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Who knows? I may even come back partially shorn again. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, so I've gotten this far and it actually is kind of cool. I definitely need to do a lot more work with it because as you can see, it's kind of uneven and weird, but I, I do like it. It has a really interesting texture. I not, I'm still, I, this is still in process, but it's kind of cool. And I like how you can, you can see my face a little differently. It's kind of neat. So I do like the buzz, which is good. And I may be going all the way to bald, we shall see. <laughs> So things that they do not tell you on the YouTube videos that I'm going to tell you, or maybe they do when I wasn't paying enough attention. Girl, you wear glasses. When you take off your glasses, you cannot see. But you have to take off your glasses if you want to shave your head. <laughs> so I had a time, and I still have not fully conquered, as you can see. Hold on. That's why I have it on this white background. See this hair here? It is going nowhere. That said, I have a freaking gorgeous head. <laughs> OMG. I love the texture of the buzz cut. It's super cute. Um, I am going to think I'm, I think I am going to take it down to bald because I actually think I'm going to get a better buzz cut by shaving it all, all getting it all off. Although, I don't know. I figure if I'm going to, oh yeah, yeah. And if you can look behind here again, trying to get these hairs, super challenging. Still working on it. Again, probably because they're behind my glasses and I keep taking off my glasses, shaving, putting on my glasses. So here, I'm going to take off my glasses again so you can experience the magic. And I have this clipper cleaner that I've been using and I got to probably hit it again. So you're supposed to go with the grain of your hair, but it's actually kind of hard to know which way the hair is going. And you need, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button, which I can't see, right? And I'm going to come in over here and I got some of it. Awesome. So you can see that sucker is a challenge. Yup. Ah, it was a challenge, but that's better. Huh, maybe I would be better off doing this in here. I do feel like this is a little patchy too, which I guess is another reason why I'm like, maybe I don't want to buzz because I might not be talented enough to buzz. Maybe I want to actually just go all in and go bald. I freaking adore this though. This is so light and cool and fun and it makes me want to wear lipstick and earrings because I still, and I feel slightly naked. <laughs> But I still got this little wing tip here, and it's kind of annoying. So here we go. I'm going to put this on, and bam. Uh-oh, see? Can't shave it with your glasses on. So I'm going to take my glasses off again. Girl can't see. That's all right, though. Thankfully, these are cordless. They have three hours. I'll put the links. It's a Norelco 30-some-odd inch piece. What it means is it has a zillion different types of heads, not that it's um many different. It's not. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I, for some reason, I thought it would be like the size of the clippers that we had when I was shaving cats. These are a little. These are a little bit smaller, and I don't think I. I still haven't gotten this, and I don't know why. Maybe I need to go up because maybe the hair grain is going this way. You have to go with the hair grain. That's the chicken, yeah. If you don't go with the hair grain, you are not succeeding. The hard part, part is, if you can't see the hair grain, you're kind of like guesstimating by feel. Um, and it's a little weird. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, I can feel my scalp. <laughs> and it, I'm having an intimate relationship with my scalp that I have not probably had since I was an infant. Actually, my mom said I was born with long black hair, so I may have never had this intimate of a relationship with my scalp, and I haven't even fully gotten to know it yet. But there is something cool and freeing about the buzz. I do really see my receding hairline here, though, which does not fill me with the love. So I think I'm going to go bald all the way and then hope it grows back in in a way that is whatever. But I wanted to give you guys an experience of the buzz and then I'm going to move to the next thing, which is going to be the bald. So we have moved from hair to buzz to bald. Yeah. Cause, and then this did better grow back. <laughs> I got all this scalp treatment -y stuff. So we shall see if not, whatever, ain't nobody seeing me for another, what, 17 months. <laughs> Maybe I got nothing. People are seeing me all the time. Don't care. Okay. So here I am mid bald. I am not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> Buzz bald. Eh, well, <laughs> however I feel about it, I feel great. 
<laughs> we shall see how this goes. But I wanted to give you an update as we go through the process. So, yeah, I, as you can see, I A, still have more work to do, and B, this is not giving me a bald head. This is still giving me stole. So I'm going to see if one of these other clipper heads will give me an actual bald head. If not, well, thank God it's going to grow back because I really dislike having stubble. It's fucking weird. Anyway, <laughs> but you can really see the beauty of my face. <laughs> this has been fun so far. Y'all, I'll be back with hopefully less stubble. <laughs> okay, so I actually really loved the buzz. And I think I'd like this bald look if I could get it to actually be bald. There's a part of me which wants to try shaving cream and a razor, but I'm afraid I might chop my own ear off. We shall see. I think that this, I, the, the benefit of this is I do think I have a cute head, although I'm not very good at shaving it. Um, so I have learned the lesson that my head is pretty adorable. And I'm going to continue working on this, but I have also learned the lesson that I did, clearly did not buy the right clippers because this is not giving me a full shave. This is giving me stubble. <laughs> so uh, let me see if I can do a little bit more fix up because now that I look here, I'm like, ooh, that's bad. I can see hair. <laughs> and um, it's still not bad though. The really good thing is I am a good looking woman with and without hair or with and mostly without hair as this is the case. Okay, with a little bit more touching up, I'm actually getting more and more used to this and getting to like it more. You'll notice my shirt is now inside out because all those little hairs, there's a reason why wearing a hair shirt was a form of meditative torture. And now you know. <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. So here it is, me, bald bash, or stubble bash, such as the case may be. I can, at least I can look around at this and I can watch the recording and see how the back of my head looks. Um, but all in all, I am a fierce, gorgeous, significantly denuded in the, in the head on the hair part woman. And I'm kind of digging it. I'm going to get some earrings and some lipstick, which I think I might put on right now so I can see, so you guys can see the full effect. Be right back. And here I am, gorgeous, stubbly bash with cute Hawaiian earrings. Oh, I love, oh my God, my neck is gorgeous. Holy crap. And I have a good head. So I, ha I now no longer have to live wondering if I have a good head for shaving because my head is freaking gorgeous. I'm going to try and do something with these eyebrows because now you can really see them, but I ain't shaving them off. I like my eyebrows. So that is the jam. Thank you all for attending my head shaving experience.